Welcome back everybody, it's me Jumpman coming back at you with a new video. What are we going to do today? Well, I'm going to try to match up the art card image on the vintage Star Wars figures to an image that was used for that card. Some of them was taken from promotional charts from the film, some just taken from the film itself. What happened is Kenner was sent from Lucasfilms 35 millimeter uh, slide images that they would use for the cards. And actually, it was a out of house company that would do the card art, sent it to Kenner. Kenner would get an approval from Lucas and all that. But uh, these are extremely, this was, I thought it would be easy to track down a promotional image or something that matched the card and the promotional image or the scene from the film easily. But it's, it was a lot more work than I thought. Uh, so I'm not going to look at every figure that's made. Hopefully, this is just part one of many more to come move my mic up there it's bothering me um and you like my new junk man jersey I'll tell you how you can get your own jersey with a great deal coming up later this week doesn't have to say junk man on it if you don't want it to but um let's just pull this first one up right here oh uh, luke skywalker as you can see that's the original luke skywalker card i'm not gonna use the f word when i talk about luke skywalker you don't have to luke skywalker Anything that has, if you're not talking about the original Luke, it already has a subtitle. You don't have to make up an F word subtitle. But anyway, let's see what was used here. It looks like it was this promotional photo of Luke Skywalker looking out at the dual suns. But it looks like the image was flipped for the card. Next up, we have Princess Leia. Again, a pretty recognizable promotional photo right here. Her standing in front of that glass radar dish thing. Never really sure exactly what that was or how it worked. But there she is. As you can see, they just took that image and put it on the card. Let's bring up Chewbacca, the Wookiee monster. This again, I just said it a couple times, another promotional photo that's pretty famous of Chewbacca and Harrison Ford together. This one here, I kind of looked around, I kept looking, it's exactly the same. It looks like they brushed out Han Solo and was able to get Chewbacca in there all to himself. It's got the same background. It almost looks like a different angle, but again, I think they kind of tinkered with the background also. And you can tell looking at that Chewbacca on the card, he looks pretty airbrushed into the photo. So I think the background might be a little different. And as long as we're looking at Chewbacca, let's look at Han Solo. It's not the same picture of him next to Han Solo, but it's a pretty famous promotional shot of Paris Ford as Han Solo in front of the Falcon with his gun drawn. As you can see, it was used for the card. Huh, look at that big head Han Solo. But as you can see, that's the photo that was used. Let's look at the Jawa card. Kind of unusual looking card that never really hit me until now. Because it looks like the Jawa should have been slid over a little bit. Maybe they wanted to get the gun in the shot. Uh, what was used? Another promotional shot here. What looks like a promotional shot, not a steal from the movie. But I could see it might be both. You got the Jawa right there with his gun raised. But it looks like some of the muzzle fire from the gun was removed for the card. Another one for the Stormtroopers is this slide photo here, which I believe is not a scene from the movie. I couldn't match this up exactly with the movie scene. I went back and watched it, and although it gets pretty darn close to it, I couldn't match it up exactly. So this might have been a promotional shot or just maybe an alternate take. But here's the card art. As you can see, the image has been flipped, and I believe that's the exact pose right there for the Stormtrooper card. Some of them get really close and it's hard to tell, but I think I matched this one up pretty well. Now this one's going to be a little hard because the 35 millimeter slide that I found was very tiny photos. So I'm going to try to blow it up, but it might make it even harder to see it more blurry. But as you can see, it's 3PO and R2 in the control room. And this looks to me like the image that was used for 3PO. It looks like they did kind of airbrush R2 out, or maybe there was enough room to maybe pull him out of the photo I'm not sure but it looks like the same pose and everything for 3PO again it's a very small picture so it's really hard to get a detail to make sure his hands and everything are in the right position so now let's take a look at Greedo this is a scene from the film I believe not a promotional shot here's the card art but let's look at Greedo as you can see I believe this is the exact same shot used for the card but they airbrushed out the back again the photo looking at the card and the image Looks like the gun's in the right position, the head's tilted right, everything except they airbrushed out the background and put it in green. And now here's a look at Hammerhead, which also seems to be a scene from the film with some airbrush done. To me, this looks like the scene matches perfectly with what's on card. 
with again maybe some airbrushing being done to the background and the bubble covers up that skeleton looking guy in the background so you wouldn't see him anyway now this one here you might disagree with me i thought about it over and over again uh it's the death star droid as you can see here uh he's more silver like he is in the sand crawler but the death star droid i think is a little darker color but to me it looks like the images except for the background is about the same one again i could be swayed that maybe these aren't the same photos maybe they touched up the color and airbrushing also to make it more silver but to me it looks like they cut the background out and used it for this card let me know what you think in the comments this is probably one of the most obvious airbrush cards in the star wars collection i'm always surprised that they didn't go back and touch this up and make a better card of it later on but let's take a look to see what scene from the film it came from Man, it's a shot of Walrus Man at the bar. Now, down in the very corner down there, you can see this little, it's not Snaggletooth, but it's kind of like a Snaggletooth creature. It's like a little rat creature with fingernails drinking the glass. Looking at the card art, you can see where they airbrushed out that hand. Still, you can see a little bit of the fingernails. I did a whole video on that explaining how you can see it in the airbrush and everything. They airbrushed out the background, the little creature next to him. And it looks like because these cup things were in the way, they had to kind of play with the artwork. The Luke Skywalker X-Wing pilot figure is pretty obvious here. It's a promotional shot of Luke Skywalker uh, on the ladder of the X-Wing. That's a pretty simple one to pick out right there. Here's another one I'm not 100% sure about. I'll let you tell me what you think. We've got the power droid, and this shot from the film shows the power droid. It looks like the image might have been flipped, and the color might have been altered a little. But to me, it looks like the same pose, but again, uh, if you told me different, I would accept it. Now, Lucasfilm sent to Kenner a guy dressed up as Boba Fett that they took photos of. And that photo, of course, was used for the Boba Fett card. As you can see, it's a dead ringer for it. Now, this one here has got something odd. Let's look at the Empire Strikes Back car for the AT, -AT driver. And as you can tell, they use this promotional shot here of just an AT, -AT driver uh, posing for the camera. To me, that's dead ringer is the same photo. But the interesting thing is, if you bring up the Tri logo, as you can see, the photo is different. He doesn't have his chest plate, which is very odd. But if you look at the 35 millimeter slide, you can tell that this is what was used. Why they changed the photo, I'm not really sure. It doesn't seem like there was a reason to. And it looks like the helmet just propped up on some kind of white base. It almost looks like the AT-AT driver has boobies. Okay, and now we have Zuckus. No, that's not Forlom, that's Zuckus. They seem to have used this slide image of Zuckus. And you can see the film image slide they use even has Boss kind of brushed out, although his foot's still showing, and looks like they airbrushed the background a little bit. Luke Skywalker, the Bespin card, which I call the Walking Bespin card. Here's the slide image used for it. Has R2 in the background, but of course on the card, the bubble covers that up, and it's Luke's just walking. One of my favorite figures in the Kenner collection, the Han Hoth figure. As you can see, they use this image right here. This is from the slide that was sent over to Kenner. Pretty obvious right there. And here's a rebel soldier in front of his ion cannon. And it looks like this is the image that was used for it. Although it looks like it was flipped for the card. As you can see with this negative image, he's facing the right direction. Now let's look at the TIE Fighter pilot. We have to look at the Tri logo card. They changed the image on the Tri logo card to these two X-Wings shooting lasers. And here's the image that was used for that. A little interesting one here. The ATST driver has an ATST uh, standing in the forest. And I believe this is the slide that was used for it. And although that slide looks a little airbrushed already, it looks like an ATST standing on a bunch of leaves. And now the Return of the Jedi car for the Rebel Commando, you can tell that this slide was used for the image. Although on this slide sent over to Kenner, he looks a lot greener than he appears on the card and probably even the film. But if you check the Tri logo card, he is more of a green color like in the slide image. So it looks like Kenner lightened the image up. And let's look at one more and it's something that didn't even hit me until today. Uh, let's look at the Rumba. I guess that's how you pronounce this Ewok's name from the Power of the Force card. And this seems to be the slide that was used for it. Even has his name on the slide. So you can see he's on the Power of the Force card. But what about Roomba on the Tri logo card? I didn't realize to the day, that's not even the right Ewok. They have the wrong Ewok on the Tri logo card. I guess even the toy designers get the Ewoks mixed up. I know I do. Anyway, that's a look at some of the card art and the images used on the card art. Hope you enjoyed this video. 
and if you did thumb up that way i can do a part two dig around and find some more that we didn't look at here and let me know in the comments some of these did i miss some of these am i wrong about some of these some of them i wasn't 100 percent on but i think pretty darn close well let me know that and more in the comments below thumb up so you like my content subscribe to the channel and we'll talk again soon junk man thank you sir for that unsolicited testimony <laughs>